This is a game called I Am Your President, where basically you take over the presidency of the United States. So you affect various policies, um, take care of global affairs and everything like that. So essentially it's a political simulator. So I have played a few runs, but I still have managed to get re-elected. It's actually quite difficult. So let's see if I can't showcase the game to people out there who may be interested. I didn't like the look of the very first president I saw. Well, surely you know this kind of people that kept saying, if you don't like it, do better. So, yeah, I was the kind of kid to answer, challenge accepted. Nevertheless, I didn't know I would have to do better again so quickly. But here it was, the thought that if I were president back then, I would have worn a helmet. Yet, growing up, I realized that helmets do not always protect people from dying but that I would. I also got to know that choosing the right confidant of your secrets is really important, and that mine would have been a locked diary. Time has passed, I got married, and if life has taught me anything about marriage, it's that you should never get married to that man. Back in the day, it was all like a game about doing better than my predecessors. But times got harder, darker, and I thought, maybe instead of trying to win the challenge, I could at least try not to lose. I was full of doubts. What would I do? Would I be able to save people, or would I only make everything worse? You can never be sure. Well, almost never. What I'm sure of is that I would never have left you, Oppie. Good job, little one. Now you can rest. But I was not done yet. I no longer wished for would and wouldn't. I wanted the choice between do and don't. And I finally received that choice. Do you know what I would do differently if I was the president right now? Nothing. And you know why? Because now I am your president. Well, 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 okay, so I will skip the tutorial because, like I said before, I have played a few times. I am fairly familiar with the way the systems work. I still haven't worked out a proper way to get re-elected though. I think I'm spending way too much political power especially. It's one of the things that it's actually really difficult to get back. Whenever you run your office, there's a couple of things that might happen. One is that somebody might actually uh, want your attention by knocking on the door. And if the door is protruding like that, then you just open it and you get your advisor. Anyway, let's speak to this guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a very amusing animation, I have to say. <laughs> yes, the first time I saw it, I was actually impressed that they'd come up with this way to do it. Hello, Mr. President. My pleasure to welcome you to the White House. I'm certain that your presidency will be great for America. Uh-huh. So if I mouse over this, you can see that this will affect politics. This one will affect um, society. Generally, politics is actually harder to increase. So in this case, I'm going to go for politics. As you can see, we've got a mild increase. The first we should do is to establish a party line, so that both the government and citizens can get accustomed to your rules and principles. Your answers will determine the party line and consequently your government's approach. And he waddles away like the cardboard cutout that he is. <laughs> I still find it amusing. Okay, so the purpose of this questionnaire is to determine your political bent. And I believe that they open up different kinds of policy trees that you can make use of. Your answers to those questions have proven you to be a Democrat. Now the problem is you can't really go with an independent approach. You have to be either Democrat or Republican. Now all we have to do is follow the values of this party. People will remember your choice, sir. So sudden changes of mind may confuse the votes and politicians as well. I brought a short questionnaire. Inside it there will be some notes from your past, important memos, but also questions about the, about the plans and future. Okay, this is another profiling exercise. Uh, you can either go for a funny approach or <laughs> I'm not sure what this is, but I usually go with serious. And as always, it's got to be on a stave. Right? Right, so the purpose of the questionnaire is to uh, create a profile for you. I think the game adapts certain things based on this. I don't think the answers make that much of a difference, ultimately. Ultimately, it's what party you go for that really determines things. Okay, so okay. If you went with a Republican approach, then you could choose one of these goals. So can I solve the opioid crisis? This one seems to be impossible. I've tried it several times, but going to Mars seems to be almost impossible for some reason. You have to basically condemn the astronauts to death. 
I think the game gives you bonuses for the things that you'll have to require in order to fulfill the goal. Opioid Crisis. Actually, I haven't tried this one. Let's go for this one. The mana goals are a lot more achievable, but generally they're about, you know, getting certain levels of uh, point scores up here for the different classifications. Don't do anything that involves a political goal or a military goal, just because it's so difficult. Okay, just to sum up my choices, this one should be a thousand on society. This one might be, if I remember correctly, 1,000 in economy. This one, I think, is a certain level of industrial score for seven turns or something like that, which is achievable. That will enable quests. The opioid crisis will involve a quest line. I've never successfully finished any of them. Yes, 1,000 society, 600 economy for at least seven turns. That's easy, actually. That is actually easy. Never fall below 350 industry. And he'll waddle along like the cardboard cutout that he is. Lol. So unfortunately the first turn will end right there and then. Uh, the first uh, three or four turns you spend just going through, uh, you know, just being introduced to the various uh, aspects of the game. You still only have like 21 turns overall, which so that means that in reality you get 17 turns to achieve your goals. So at the end of every turn you'll get a summary of what's happened. Uh, you get a breakdown of the various activities that have happened. Anyway, got a sign on a stave. Right, now we're getting things like email. Did you call me, Mr. President? I did. I want to know what's going on outside. What are all those people doing near the gate? Ah, yes, you get events every so often. There's no reason to worry, Mr. President. This is not a rally. It's just this one guy. Well, he's just lying on the sidewalk, refusing to move. Is he ill or mad or something like that? I don't think so. One of the people in the crowd is a doctor who asks the same question. Is he paralyzed? Okay, so in this case, I think if you show concern for the people, might increase society. This one might... Increase politics. Is it paralyzed? Okay, so I think showing concern will increase politics. It does indeed, so 20 political points. No, I don't think so. I was there and looked fine. Call him, I must know what is happening. There you go, that's our phone. You can answer it. Yes, this is the US president speaking. Why are you laying on the, on the sidewalk in front of the White House? Trust me, you don't want to know. No, are you a spy? Um, yes, that, I think that will reduce diplomacy. You don't know whether a response will actually increase or decrease something. It only shows you how much you'll increase it by. So in this case, society might increase by about half based on the slider there. Anyway, let's go with diplomacy. Aha! <laughs> that actually gave us diplomatic points. I'm not a spy, just a normal American citizen like you. The why in the world are you lying there? There's already 2,000 people trying to help you. I don't need help. Please, just hang up and leave me alone. Not that simple, you know something, but you decided to keep it to yourself. Tell me the truth. Yes, the truth is out there, folks. Can you handle the truth? You really want to know why I'm laying here on the sidewalk? I will tell you the truth. I hope God will forgive me. And I hope God will help us all. So listen, and all of you around me listen as well. I'm laying here on the sidewalk because... Hello, you're breaking up, goddammit. Uh-huh, here's a cardboard cutout. What happened? What did you say, Mr. President? Nothing, the phone died. And I think we're gonna lose both society and political points there. We did. <laughs> Well, whatever he said, now they're all laying on the sidewalk just like him. Jesus Christ, it's just like in this old Radiohead video clip. Which one? I'm not here. This isn't happening. Ice Age coming, kill the president. <laughs> kill the what? Just shut up and go. This is stupid. We know nothing. We'll go as clueless as we came. God damn it, I hate this world. So like I said before, you get these events randomly. And they're ultimately multiple choice kind of questionnaires. The choices that you make will affect the scores up here. Another thing that you can do is answer emails. This ones typically relate to political decisions. Lowering their age of requirement for full retirement benefits, okay. Okay, the age required to receive the full retirement benefits is to be lowered to 65 years of age. With the early retirement benefits available at 60 years of age. Benefit reductions proportional to the aforementioned gap still apply. Okay, now you gotta sign off. Is that a good thing? Yeah, okay, being a Democrat, we should probably follow that line. And you have you get to sign off like that. And you drop the pen with the right click and accept. Double then. And you can see some decisions. So every law that you enable has an effect on one of these areas. In this case, uh, we get some progress. One a turn. Uh, I don't think we can see it, but we'll see crisis later on. All right, my presidency basically summarizes everything that's happening. So in this case, we've uh, enabled one law. And you can see some opinions out here. I never thought I could hate someone I've never met. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Recently lost my job. Can't find any alternative because uh, the economy's in the shitter. 
This is a summary of the things that you've done previously. Turn 2 basically ends uh, with that. Have you thought about changes in a great country that you would like to implement? Yes, definitely have some ideas. Essentially, the project sections gives you income in the various categories. You have to spend some in different categories to invest, but that will give you a certain amount of income per turn. The Democrats way, and that enables the Democratic uh, projects. So that seems to be the biggest difference between going Republican and Democratic, the policies and projects. At the moment, we have no income. Uh, you can get some income every point you invest here. So as you can see up here, you see a plus one. So if I invest some money to healthcare, that will then give us uh, one investment per turn. Every five points you invest in a sector, like say healthcare, that will then allow you to enable one of these perks. They can then affect the income in various ways. Like for example here, this one can give us a plus two on every category, right? But there is a bit of a trap because for example, we'd have to spend five points here to get one token to enable this perk over here. But the problem is that when you enable this, that will take away four from your income. And the maximum is five. So that means you can't get it back up again. Or so, or so was the case when I tried, but yeah. If you want to get this one, you want to get this one first to, innate, to increase the maximum, and then you want to get that one, right? So basically, these ones all give you various improvements, but they all reduce your income. When I played with previously, before the latest update, one of the most important things that I found was that getting those plus one action points, if you look in the third line of this perk, plus one max action points, that was really important because you get max action points every turn. So in this case, we get two. We used to get five, but now we get two. So it sounds like improving your max action points is actually far more important. Okay, so there's a number of places where you can get max action points. Military industry is one. War expenditure should be another one. And espionage, yep, another one. And those are the easy ones to get. Reason being that if you get the prior ones, let's say with military industry, if you get this one, which is a prerequisite for this one anyway, if you get this one, if you look at the second line, it says plus three to current funding. So if I invest five points into the budget, pick this, that will change it to eight automatically. So then I can get, I can get this perk with only two more points. Ironically, investing in the military is one of the best ways to get income, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay. There you go. That should then give us plus two military points per turn. But it did cost us a bit, right? We lost 10 to economy and 10 to politics. Okay, there's nothing else to do. And as you can see, if the projects give us plus two income to military, then that's gone up by two. Turn four. Good afternoon, sir. Just wanted to ask if you needed anything from me before I leave. Okay, then uh, let me at least clean your desk. Can I throw this piece of paper out? Ooh, this she could be a, she could be a honey trap. <laughs> oh no, that's a lottery ticket. 42. The answer is always 42. Oh my god. Yes, I can't believe it. You won. You actually won a billion dollars, Mr. President. Okay, time to retire, folks. Time to retire. <laughs> uh, if only we could get this in real life, eh? I uh, don't know. I've never been rich. That will affect society. I'll give everyone working in the White House a huge bonus. I'll never make it without you. And that will give us a massive increase to political points, I think. I'm sure our budget could use an, could use an injection of $1 billion. No, no, no. Political points are much more difficult to come by. Give me political points, baby. Why the hell would I donate a billion bucks to uh, staffers? No, no, you wouldn't do that, man. Keep it. And yes, you occasionally get news events and everything like that. A mountain of money on the top of the world. In a shocking stroke of luck, the US president also became the sole winner of one of the largest jackpots in history. However, some experts are terrified that such an accumulation of luck might cause entropic imbalance and launch Earth back into the Dark Ages. LOL. A White House correspondent confirmed that the president is going to spend his winnings on giving his employees a bonus. Despite our best efforts, we were unable to find anything wrong with that decision and were forced to reluctantly acknowledge his generosity. The press can't find anything to criticize me. Well done. Okay, pat on the back to myself. Nothing else. Okay, so let's invest. Right, so the first thing, we want to get more military points because I want to get to 5 ASAP. That does spend some political and economic points, unfortunately. But I need that plus one over here. It has come to my attention that you are entirely neglecting international relations. Okay, this is where the game gets hard. Okay, we actually get two more points. So this introduces the global map feature. So this is where we get to play with the global politics. So the world also influences your income in various ways. So the reason why I suggest that people conserve the political and military points is because you start with a pretty hefty negative to both. This one can be fairly easily remedied, right? 
but these two are really difficult to, to remedy. You can inspect various countries, they've got different things, different stats, and different relations with us. Yep, so one of the most important ones is do they hate us or not? And then you get various actions. You unlock these by the projects, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, so right now I've got four points. I could either, for example, get two trade agreements, which are useful. So for example, if I got a trade agreement with India, that will give me a plus 10 to income. If you look at uh, below the industrial here, around here-ish, that will give me 10 industrial points. Same with, uh, I think India is the biggest one. Same with Japan. Yeah, Japan also gives you a plus 10. So we could get two trade agreements to cut this deficit down to minus seven per turn. But I won't do that because we need to increase our points. I think it's better to invest in projects. Okay, so one more. So that, that gets us to five investment, which gives us a token, which then allows us to select perks. So like I said before, I want to get this one to unlock this one and get plus one maximum points. These are very important. Plus they also give us income to the military, right? Okay, now two more, right? Non-stop production. Pick this one up for our plus one action point. Plus it also makes it cheaper to create military bases. Right, so that, that increases our maximum points to five, right? Very important stuff here. This one does cost us military though. Different uh, sectors cost you different amounts of, uh, of uh, funding. So what I'll do is I'll get another point over here, more military investments, but it will pay off in the long run. Right, so project changes gives us a plus 11, but the problem is that the world map gives us a negative to politics, a negative to military, and a negative to industry. So we've got to address that ASAP, right? But I need some more action points first. The world awaits, and every so often you get crisis. Okay, so something's happening in Syria. Has Dracula sent you an email filled with insult? Uh huh. So we can accept it, lose some political points, but get them get them open to us, right? So their relationship improves. Or we can actually lose relationship. <laughs> Your shit poster in chief. <laughs> this is actually quite important. Improving relationships is actually quite difficult, so I'll accept that. So because we invested in the military, we can actually create bases. What I want is this one. This is diplomatic relationships. Uh, diplomatic relationships get opened up in here. So we need to unlock this one in order to get uh, diplomatic relations, which are very important, right? Yeah, let me get this one first. We're gonna take a few losses on the meantime. But this is very important. So yeah, again, that gives us a plus three to funding and two more points, which I don't have. I've only got one point, but next turn we'll be able to increase this and get an extra maximum point that should take us to six maximum points and then it's a question of do we invest in espionage or do we invest in diplomatic presence but well, we've got an email as well combating economic disparity and resource hoarding resulting from inheritance laws anyway so this is the important part the executive branch of the u.s federal government shall no longer aid with the inheritance and personal property transfer procedures exceeding one million dollars yes Yes, yes, yes. Honest Abe signs off on this. Except, yes. And that changes. That gives us another point to progress. Or three points to progress, actually. So this questionnaire will determine our, our public profile. Uh, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, actually, this one. The campaign is still in its infancy. We need to know what to expect from you, okay? No, I'm not gonna answer that because I've lost many, many times. <laughs> this game's actually quite difficult to get re-elected in. Usually I lose because I end up uh, with not enough political points. So yeah, that's a problem. Should I say Americanator? No. Give them rolling program some internet memes. So, yeah, so I think this refers to our funding of military projects. You can also get a breakdown of the net income or net loss by mousing over. So in this case, we're losing politics, we're losing industry, getting some income from this. Uh, military is basically back to even and uh, we are get getting some diplomatic points. The limit is 1,000 for each category. Turn six. Okay, the world awaits. Oh, what is this? Papua New Guinea. Uh, sparing no insults, the president of Papua New Guinea just publicly ex accused the CIA of meddling in their internal affairs, uh, which is probably true. <laughs> How amusing. About time someone took the feds down a peg. Okay, we get society, but we lose military income. Can't afford to do that. Right, that, that would make them hostile. Hmm. Yeah, this one's not particularly great. This one's not particularly great either. Anything that reduces your relationships is a no-go as far as I'm concerned. This one might give us an extra action point, right? We've got six max. This should give us seven, I believe. 
It did. It did. We temporarily got seven out of six. Excellent. Which is exactly what I need. So this is introducing the cabinet. Right. So the cabinet can also influence your income. In this case, we're getting negatives for pretty much everything. This is where it matters, right? So this is us, but everybody you've got here, as you close advisors, gives you income or it makes you take a loss. So in this case, we're losing for industry. Um, we're losing, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, losing. So we want people who give us positive. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what else, right? The only thing that matters is, do they give us positive income or not? Oh, military, okay, military points are kind of scarce. But if you can get military points out of the cabinet, that is really good. Political points are kind of scarce, but if you can get them, you should definitely go for political points or military points. And the modifiers here depend on your policies, the legislations that you've signed and everything like that. Yes, yeah, so we're getting plus six, plus 12. Mm -hmm. This is great. So that's actually quite decent. Reducing the presidential salary to match the minimum wage. Yeah, so these are the policies that affect the standing of your cabinet. Right, uh, salary received by the president of the United States of America shall be identical to the minimum wage. I mean, I did just win 1.4 billion bucks. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Um, This is a bit of a trap, because the thing is, if you reduce the salary down to s such a low level, generally speaking, politicians then become easier to buy. But I'm going to reject this on that, on, that, on that principle. I don't mind the loss of income, although it doesn't really make any difference to you as a player. Right, uh, let's see. Now, projects. Here, we want to get this one more point here for one more maximum. That brings us up to seven points per turn, right? That's kind of important. We want to get this to get diplomatic relations down to one per turn. Yeah, so I could go for espionage to get another point here, but should be okay for at least a couple of turns. So this is a long-term investment. If I get these two, that should get me up to eight maximum points, which is very important, right? So next turn, we should be able to increase our maximum up to eight. And then we should be able to invest in diplomatic relationships. Okay, now. Although we are really running low on society. If any of these markers actually drops to zero, you lose the game. Oh, uh, that's our daughter, I think. She's the party girl. Dad, we must talk. I feel old. Uh, someone call you a MILF? Oh, shit. <laughs> Went to club last night. The people there look like a bunch of kids. They were trying to act like adults. Uh, drinking, swearing, and making out low. So Screecher is the equivalent of Twitter in the game. It's well-deserved unpaid leave. Okay, fair enough. You're a monster. Okay, fine, sorry. And yes, we can uh, screech, aka tweet. Having kids and watching them grow up made me appreciate life in general. We all feel old or stupid sometimes, but like every emotion or thought, this too will pass. Weird. Why did our parents put us on this planet? That's right, folks. Important questions. Kids, you can't live with them, but you can, and you absolutely should, uh, should live and have fun without them. And yeah, we'll go with the calm. The calm philosophical approach. It's not that important, apparently. Uh, American Ailment Prevention Council. A new branch of the US Department of Health and Human Services is to be established. Primary task will be to implement health crisis prevention programs such as providing nutrition with no space, distributing supplementation with no space, or promoting healthy life cycles, thus minimizing the societal cost of various pandemics. Ooh. Okay, investment in health is actually very important in real life as well. Okay, so that's giving us a whole bunch of progress points. Espionage, give me my points. That, plus one action point, that means eight. Excellent. Okay, we lose politics and military, which is really bad. Really bad. It will give us some points to diplomacy, but uh, that's not the most important thing right now. So I want to get this to one cost per diplomatic relation. Diplomacy actually makes a huge difference in the game. This is really important. Diplomatic relations is actually really important in the game. Turn 8. Unfortunately, we only get 21 turns, so the game does move very quickly. So like I said before, we have 8 action points. Very important. So let me spend some here. Okay. No, no, no. This is, this is the most important point to reach. Right, uh, now the thing is, you can only generate diplomatic relationships with countries that, that are near or next to countries that you have like trade relations with, right? The effect of any policy like trade relations or diplomatic uh, relations depends on the power of the countries. In this case, from our server, I can see the effect once we get a relationship with China and or Russia. So China is more powerful than Russia is, so that will give us more points all, across the board. So this choice allows you to uh, get countries that hate you to like you. So in this case, this guy distrusts us. Most of Africa distrusts us. 
Venezuela hates us, but generally everybody else distrusts only. Same with here. Europe, Eastern Europe doesn't uh, trust us. Nor does Southeast Asia. Ultimately, I want a diplomatic relation with China. I'm going to set up a trade agreement with India, which will give us 10 points to industry in any case. So that's good. But if I do this, that will give us like 26 society, 26 politics. I could have gone with a trade relationship with Kazakhstan, which is not really worth it. But it would allow me to set up a diplomatic relationship with Russia. The alternative would be an one with Ukraine, right? That should open up Eastern Europe, basically. I wanted to get this one for the 10 industry points per turn. And we also want to get a relationship, a relationship with, with China. China's relationship to us has gone from distrustful to open. As you can see from the second line in the pop-up. Getting diplomatic relationships is really important. It just makes such a difference to income. Unfortunately, we're still losing military points, so that's really, really, really bad. Everything else is basically positive. So when you click on a particular action, the game will highlight which countries you can have, you can do some things with. We could get another relationship. But this is worthwhile. That's a decent amount of income. Getting military income is actually difficult. So well, let's see, where is it? This is one way to get military income. So if you get this perk and then you get this perk, then that will allow you to get 10 points per military base per turn. Which is really significant because military income is actually quite difficult to get. So right now, yeah, we're getting a plus one here. But everything else is going up by a decent amount. USDA is to double its efforts in combating um, agricultural mon monopolization and supporting small farms in their business endeavors. Agricultural corporations engaging in, in exclusive supply agreements and predatory land acquisitions shall immediately be prosecuted under the harshest antitrust laws. Yes, this is really good. No monopolies, buddy. And that gives us a plus one to law and order. So I want to get Russia on side, right? Brazil's really good for a trade agreement. So is Australia for the, just for the cash. And so is Japan. Spain doesn't trust us and the UK doesn't trust us. Everybody else here. I'll go with a trade relationship with uh, the Ukraine, which should open up a whole bunch of countries in Eastern Europe for eventual relationships. Uh, although they're not that great. But the most important one is Russia. Now we're up to plus 22 on politics. Right, really important stuff. Okay, overall, we're making 54 society, 22 politics, uh, 49 industry, uh, 101 economy. So the economy is the easiest one to get up, and the second one is the society. Diplomacy is going up quite briskly, but uh, military is kind of lagging behind. Okay, so to get political points, we can invest in energy here. That will give us a decent income per, per turn for politics. We also want to get in military points. This will give us a massive boost to mid to society, which we do have to. Yeah, okay, so I'll go this way. The ultimate goal is to get plus 10 uh, military points. Oh, actually, let me get this one. Let me get this one. So this, if you look at the second line, it says plus one funding per turn. So this will naturally increase our funding just by itself. We're losing politics, though. I'm um, kind of worried about politics, actually. I'm kind of worried about politics. Let me go with this one, actually. We need to get some political income. Because you just came back from your trip and it was quite the party, from what I heard. To buy some footage just leaked on the internet. Uh -huh. Well, now it's out. And we have to do something about that. Okay. Press conference. Yes, yes. Okay, fine. This one's another mini game where you have to answer the questions as uh, well as many questions as possible within a time limit. What exactly were you doing in the Shurkin video? Just dancing, singing? Okay, fine. I'm just I'm just a normal person. Who are those people around you? And why is there an owl statue deep in the forest? Just some weird rich folks. Uh, I'll symbolize wisdom. Yeah, okay, fine. Maybe they'll. Oh, okay, they didn't like that one. What about those words that you were saying? Um, I'll just cause. Oops. Okay, so I didn't. Lo I lost some political points. Okay, but apparently people like me. Gotta take this one, right? Uh, that will sacrifice military and diplomacy. Political points, very important. All right, so that's fifty-eight plus thirty-four plus fifty-eight. Okay. Plus one is six, 14, and that. Okay, this is good. War is never never an answer. Bearing that in mind, I hereby declare that from this point onwards, all the veteran, all of the veteran retirement pay will be reduced by 30%. Uh, no, I can't do that. Okay, so what are the goals? Let me just recheck the goals. Never fall below 350 industry. That's well on hand. 600 economy for seven turns. Okay, so I just need to maintain this for seven turns. That one might be a bit difficult. We are finished, ruined. Yes, and all this before 11 in the morning, lol. <laughs> ah yes, this, this is the introduction to the crisis system. Oh, this is bad. Where to start? Bad news or worse? Okay, so some dumbasses decided to have some kind of a battle in the lake. Sticky people, okay, so that's gonna cost us industry. That's okay, we can handle that one. 
This one's not as great, but that's okay. Now, I think... I think the minus 7 applies to... Both... Both crises. So this one should go away in 3 turns, right? And this one should go away in 2 turns. But it should be a minus 7 to each of these ratings here. So basically, what choices you made as far as your actions actually influences the crisis is really serious or not. But basically, everything affects your income here. Alright, let me get this. That's very painful. That is very painful. But I want that plus one funding per turn. Yeah, so industry is going really well. So is the economy. That society is coming back up. Diplomacy is great. Mr. President, I'm happy to inform you that the leading US drug manufacturer, Enormous Pharma, uh huh, Giga Pharma, <laughs> is ready to withdraw all of its opioid based products from the market. Okay, so I think this is part of our quest. We'll do as promised, but under one condition. Oh shit. They'll need at least $2 billion to research and produce safe and non addictive alternatives to the drugs they're selling right now. Two billies? <laughs> That's probably enough money to fill a whole swimming pool. Yeah, uh, kind of. Okay, this will basically end the quest. I'll go for this one just because it's a quest. But hopefully it doesn't screw over my 7 points. Oh, 40 points. Oh, my politics. Ouch. Ow, my politics. Oh, that is really bad. That is seriously bad. Okay, so that was 10. That went down by 7. That was 15. That went down by 7. Okay. Students are not to be prosecuted for their inability to pay off their student debt, whether private or federal. Student loan services can no longer count on federal institutions to help them enforce the predatory loan payments. Correct. That gives us another point in progress. Okay, one more. That sacrificed political points. Okay. But that gives us a plus one automatically per turn. So that's kind of important. Work expenditure. Same with that. This one gives us politics as well. And I think it gives us 50 to a random. Yeah, you don't want to go beyond this because it caps your, your various stats. And we lose society and diplomacy. Worth it. So it's another plus 10 to, uh, to politics, although it doesn't seem to show yet. Um, tell you what, let's get more friends. Let's get more friends. Friends with benefits. Right, uh, an easy one, an easy win here is to get France on side. Follow that up with a uh, chaser of Spain. Anyway, press conference. This one has no particular purpose. Okay, uh, what made you wait? You waited for two hours. Now, love him, but love is patience, okay. Uh, what's your current political decisions? Okay, they're more than happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, recent statements made you think you were higher drunk. Uh, utterly sober, lol. You think the media are on your side? Uh, definitely, they hang on to my every word. Yes, and as you can see, oh, actually, I lost political points. Why? Is this a bug? We've got a minus eight. This should have gone down. This is costing me like a huge amount of politics. All right, let's get Mexico on side. For the Cholos, man. For the Cholos. This is a bit of a weird thing because uh, they're right next to the US. But I still need to create a trade agreement with Guatemala. In order to then be able to get Mexico on side. Which is weird. Let's go with Chad. And that should allow us to get Nigeria on side. Yes, yeah, Sudan is great. Uh, everybody else will cost us military, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Okay, so we've got a couple of points from this one, just for free. Okay, end turn. We're in turn 13. Eight more turns to go. So, industry and economy is great, so is diplomacy. Military has gone to the shitter. Uh, Polity is holding and society is kind of okay-ish. Slowly improving. Okay, so one, one of the crises is gone, but what is this? What am, why isn't this going away? Uh, here, three more points, right? Okay, so we can... Yeah, Switzerland is an easy win as well. Bangladesh. Absolute easy win for uh, for economical and industrial reasons. Tell you what, let me go with Brazil for the, for the industry. It's Peru. Let's go with Niger. So we're up to plus 15. But we still have a crisis on hand, which is a problem. I think we're doing quite decently. Usually I run out of military and political points. What's the kind of achievement there? I'm not sure what it says. I think that's because uh, we hit 1000 for both. But the economy is booming basically. Politics usually goes to zero really quickly for me. So this has been a really good game. The end of opioids. Okay.
The research indicates that there are promising alternatives to opioids. Guess we've done that. Hopefully that finishes that crisis. Uh, Madagascar. Uh -huh. We can make them allied, but they would actually lose democratic points. Oh, but it will give us funding. Both of them will give us funding. All right, this is important. He got nothing. Completely successful. Okay, so plus three and plus three, right? But they've gone to flawed democracy, so they have improved a little bit. And they've gone to allied. Okay, church, state. Ouch. Okay, we get a perk. This one will reduce that. No, no, we want this. We want this one. We want to go for this. Okay. And that would improve our social. So now that's up to 100. Uh, five more turns, actually. We should be able to hit 1,000. A I want to go for that. Mid politic political points, right? Here, plus five to everything. Okay, I... Uh... I want to keep this above 500 because I want the bonuses. So we'll go 1, 2. Alright, uh, let's go with that trade agreement here. That should allow me to get like a, a diplomatic relationship here and here with Turkey. Indeed, Mr. President, I was hoping you could ordain a presidential commission to investigate some problems th in the future. The future domestic US market. Oh, uh, this is a crisis. I'd like you to put together two separate commissions to investigate and propose future action plans. Yeah, this is gonna be expensive though. Oh my god, 400. Oh, I don't know how many terms we get, but this is bad. Right, now the problem is that 400. 400, that is ludicrous. Okay, society is going up, I like it. This is really important. Aha, get off the roller coaster. Maintain 600 economy for at least 7 turns. Excellent. Oh, that's going to take forever. Oh, that's going to take forever. All right, so promises. That's done. Universal loved. Where... What turn are we on? I can't... Let's have our four more turns, right? Okay, well, this one we're okay at. I'm afraid I've got some terrible news. Uh-huh. Last night there was an explosion on a drilling rig on the Santa Barbara channel. Doesn't look good. The worst thing about all this is the leak itself. I was informed that the flow rate is, some, is anything between 30,000 to 50,000 barrels per day. Do you want to get the word out on this? Yes, we'll get a speech out. You gotta choose out of three for the introduction, three out of three for the body, and out of, and out of three for the ending. You can click in order to, well, you can click and hold in order to see what it is. Good evening, I've just, I've just returned from a trip to... Okay, okay, so that's fairly serious. I, the President of the United States, are discussed, and that's aggressive. How do people? Mm, no, no, no. Let's be serious. That will give us society points, I think. Probably blow this up out of proportion. Mm, no, it's fine. Fake news. Best scientists, engineers. Okay. Fully cooperate. Okay, to stop such incidents happening in the future. But we could also throw our son-in-law under the bus. No, I'll take this. No. Profe let's go professional. Okay, job is done. I'll play golf. Blah, blah. No, no. <laughs> Nation has known hard times, okay, not the worst thing that's happened. Okay, I think this is great. Basically, focus on the cleanup. US President is a moron! We didn't see that coming. After days and days of very public drama with the, pre the president's missing flash drive, it turned out that his wife had just taken it from his office. There was nothing, nothing at all. Uh huh. Okay, no profit oriented organizations, including non profit organizations reliant to, to some extent on corporate donations may provide monetary or material contributions to any specific candidate during elections, nor provide either political party with funding that will later be used during the presidential campaign. Hmm. Yeah, get the money out of politics, folks. Okay, that gave us, yeah, freedom and responsibility, which I think should affect the crisis positively. Correct, so it's a minus nine now. Uh, give me a perk. Oh, you can only have four projects. Okay, so there is a limit. Oh, I, I need to get this. Oh, okay, this is better. So I shouldn't have got that. Okay, so this is the first time I've actually hit that uh, project limit. Finish it on turn 21, so we should be able to hit a thousand here as well. Okay, 1,000 to society. We've made our goal. Okay, universally loved. 1,000 society, well done. But basically, all of the minor promises have been kept. Things are going great, Mr. President. I've just received a call from enormous farmer CEO. And they're ready to go with a new, safer... Fine, we'll pay. We can afford this, right? We can easily afford this. I just hope it will finally end this goddamn opioid crisis. Ah, oh, we did solve it. Okay. Achievement. Done. Solved. We made all the promises. What the hell? 
New painkillers are amazing. US vice president promised to end. What? Why did the vice president promise to uh, promise that? I thought it was my promise. US vice president promised to end the opioid crisis which killed almost 1 million Americans in the last decade. And I'm happy to say he did it. No, no, it was I, the president, not the vice president. With the government's help, the leading drug manufacturer in our country, Enormous Pharma, managed to replace all of its opioid-based products with safer substitutes. This is big, people. This is really big. Yeah. That's it. We should get re-elected, right? This is almost strange. The game's become a lot easier with the latest patch. Never fall below uh, 350 industry. Excellent. Okay, are you ready? Ready for what? The election, dummy? Oh, the interview. Okay. So this is a new and different kind of interview process. Yeah, so that's the advice that we get. Yeah, so it gives us tips, but we get to answer, get to choose what we brag about. I'd like to ask you, who, who was the driving force behind this administration's economic reforms? A personal involvement in the matter. Okay, so you can choose to also include that, but in this case, that's all. The election is coming, okay, so it is indeed coming. Okay, they're about to announce the election results. Oh, Press nailed it. Manufacturing and agriculture never been better. Uh -huh. In this economy, I'd be lucky to afford a cardboard box that someone left in the middle of the street. I've got a thousand economy, buddy. Thousand economy. Why me? Okay, so that might be hard coded. He's legit, real tough, and down to earth guy. I feel super safe with him in office. Worried? Me? You know what my wife said when I told her I was going to run for office? But honey, is that really something you see yourself doing for the next four years? And I just laughed. Being a president is not something you do. It's someone you are. So no, I was not worried. After all, presidency is for life, quite literally, in some places. Maybe we'll have to give that a shot someday. But I am getting ahead of myself. It's not like I have a god complex. It's just that there's still so much work to be done. And I remain your president.